Are you tired of always having to build the same reports for your Google Ads campaign? In this video, I will show you how you can automate reporting for your Google Ads campaign in Google Sheets using Integromat and for free. Okay, so let's begin. So the first step, first step we're going to need is we're going to need the Google Ads campaign management uh, make an API module. So there it is. Uh, and so we are going to need uh, to connect uh, our Google Ads account. So I've already connected my uh, Google Ads account, but if you haven't, all you have to do is click here. Then they're going to ask for your customer ID, and your customer ID is over there. So all you have to do then is copy paste it, add it here, and then it will. Um, I see a screen that will ask you to sign in with your with your Google Ads account. So I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that today. So what I'm going to do is just select my uh, account. Okay, there it is. And so now what I need to do is I need to, um, well, um, build my requests. So first uh, I will need to add a path. So to find out how to do that, you can check the Regulate API documentation and as you can see, uh, they give you examples of um, paths you can use. So we're just going to use this one to get information on our account. Okay, and now what you have to do is replace the customer ID by the customer ID um, over there. The only thing is that you have to make sure uh, not to forget to remove the dashes if you don't it won't work okay so now we all you also have to enter uh, well a request in the google ads query language so again uh, if you're not familiar with it you can use the google ads query builder to build the query you want so let's do that together Okay, so with the query builder, we're going to be able to build um, a query with the fields we want to get. So uh, here I'm starting with campaign because I want information on my campaign, but you can also get information on the ad group level or on the account level. Uh, so as you can see, you, you have various um, various um, choices and it's just up to you to choose uh, which uh, dimension you want to use so for us it's going to be the campaign dimension okay so let's we can now um, build our query so first uh, what i'm going to need to get is going to get uh, i'm going to get the campaign name so that i can have uh, the results and the metrics per campaign so let's look for that where is it there we go Okay, so I'm going to get a campaign name. Okay, so now I have all the um, all the metrics I need. And one cool thing is that if you want, you can also use the interactive mode if you want to maybe change the order of the um, of the metrics or anything else so and you can also use the pretty print mode uh, which uh, will help you read your query more easily okay so now that we have so let's get back to standard uh, and now that we have our query um i am going to uh, add a date filter because so what we're going to do is that we are going to I run the scenario every week, every Monday, to get the information from the previous week. So uh, to do this, I have to choose the week segment. There it is. And so here they will ask me uh, to choose a date. So since uh, it's a week, uh, the date has to be, uh, well, on Monday. So I'm filming the video on um, April 30th. So I'm going to choose the previous week, so to get a full week, so I'm going to choose um, Monday, 
18. So there we go, 2022, April and eight. And okay. So now that we have a query, if you want to make sure it's working, uh, you can also use your query validator. So there we go. Uh, you just have to copy paste your query and then they will let you know if the query is valid. So here we know that our query is good. So now we can get back to Integromat and we can add our query. So what we're going to do is just copy paste it. And because it's um, it's going to be um, well uh, API request, we need to add some quotation mark quotation marks and some brackets so let me add them okay okay so now that you have the query we're almost done all we need to do is first change the method because right now it's a get method but if you we look at the documentation we can see that we need to do a post request and also uh, the um, integromat uh, seems to use the v9 of the Gradat API, so that's what I'm going to use as well instead of the v10. Okay, so now that we have uh, the information, uh, let's go ahead and uh, run it and see if it works. So as you can see, the request worked, so let's see what we get. So we get a collection of results. So if we look at this, we get the campaign and then we get the metrics of the campaign over there. Uh, perfect. So now that we have this information, um, we are going to add it to a Google Sheet to make our report. So, so now that we have um, the information, we're going to be able, able to add it to a Google Sheet. Sheet. So here is the Google Sheet we are going to use. So uh, I will have one dashboard part uh, where, where I can have the information of my the campaigns, and um, I will have a sheet with the raw data and I will use to uh, put in this main uh, main sheet. So okay, so there we go. So let's get back to Integromat and add the Google Sheet module. So there we go, I'm going to choose the spreadsheet and then the sheet. Okay, good. One thing we have to do before doing this is that if we look at how um, the data is uh, incoming, you can see that we have an array and several collections. And what we need to do is use an iterator because we are going to need to get each result, so the first one, the second one, uh, and all of this, we're going to need to get each result um, individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to uh, add an iterator. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, not that. Uh, so let's go ahead and add our iterator so that we can, we're going to be able to get each item of the array individually so we're going to get the results okay and let me just put this here and okay now that we have this uh, all we have to do is add the values there Okay, so one thing uh, for the cost per conversion and the cost micros, which uh, is the amount spent, um, we have to divide it by a million to get the real number. Uh, as you can guess, I don't have a cost per conversion of over a million dollars. So to do this, just have to use integromat function and divide by a million. So to have enough zeros. There we go. And do the same for the amount spent. So the cost micros. So okay. 
Okay, perfect. So now let's run the scenario and see what we get. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we got the info. So I've just blurred out um, some of the information because it's uh, confidential. But as you can see, we have everything. So the week, um, the campaign name, the impression, the clicks and everything we need. So uh, now that you have this data, you're free to do whatever you want with it. Um, but I can show you my setup. So what I've done is that here we have the raw data. And then over there, I have a dashboard where um, first I can choose to get the data for all the campaigns. So this is done using a query function or I can get the data for a specific campaign. Okay, so now that we know that our scenario is working, there's one last thing we have to do. So here, um, as you can see, we are choosing to get data for a specific week. And the idea uh, of this scenario is that it should run every Monday. And so get the date for um, the date should change uh, depending on uh, which Monday is it. So to do this, what we have to do is instead of having the date like this, we are going to use um, the now function because this is going to run every Monday. And we're going to use the format date function to have a date um, that is formatted in the right format for the API. So let's do that. So first we are going to use the format date. Okay. Format date. Perfect. Oh. Okay. I just have to remove this. Okay. Then we're going to choose now because this is going to be scheduled every Monday. And here we have to choose the format. So what we want is the form, this one. So um, yes, what you want is year, mo year, month, day. So that's what we're going to choose. So I'm just going to do this. And now uh, you have just to schedule it every Monday. So the week, Monday, let's run it in the morning, so 8 a.m. And save. Perfect, so now every Monday you will get your Google Ads campaign data in Google Sheets. So this is it for uh, this video. As always, if you found the video helpful, please make sure to like, share, or subscribe. And I will see you in the next automation video. Bye.